Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Joshua Winkins and in this video I want to go over how to create this really cool yet simple bad TV effect. Now this is what the effect looks like. It creates this really cool glitchy bad TV effect. Now I'm going to go over where to actually find this effect and then I want to go over a couple settings when it comes to this effect. So let's go ahead and just delete the effect. Um, right there and I want to do is go over to the effects panel right here now don't worry this is not a plugin it's a completely free um, built-in effect into Final Cut Pro 10 so let's go ahead and just type into the effects panel as you can see right here bad TV so let's apply the effect onto the clip right here and I want to go over a couple of different settings um, for this effect so this is what the effect looks like when you just apply the effect this is what the effect looks like right there basically it's like basically at its like default settings so I want to go over basically like the middle the like the uh, when the effect is at like the middle the most extreme this effect can get and then kind of like the lowest point it can go so let's go ahead and go absolutely insane and let's turn this all the way up to 100 so let's, and look, let's see what happens when you turn the effect all the way to 100 this is what the effect looks like so like an I was probably, you, you, you might want to pe give people like an epilep epilepsy warning because that's, that's kind of ridiculous but this is what the effect looks like at its complete full um, capacity so let's go ahead and let's turn it all the way down I don't know to about maybe let's try five and see what it looks like kind of at the um, lower end right here so let's go ahead and play the effect right here and this is what the effect looks like right here it creates a little bit of green but nothing really happens I mean when you turn it all the way down to like five probably nothing will happen so let's turn it to the setting that I encourage you to probably do which is probably 18 or 19 so let's turn it back to 18 and let's play it right here I would encourage you to probably keep it between like 17 to 20 so I'd say 18 19 I think looks the best at least in my opinion I think that looks pretty good where like it has like this RGB look on it but it's not way too kind of insane or extreme so I'd encourage you probably like 18 um, I would put, put 18 into the amount now let's go ahead and head over here so let's go to the different static types so you have TV static you have white noise right here and then blue noise and pink noise so those are what the different um, static types look like right there and of course you can go through and figure out the one that you think looks the best for your project that's pretty much all that, that all this effect has to offer it's definitely a really cool and definitely a really interesting effect I've made a lot of videos with talking about this bad TV effect like applying this with other effects and other techniques but I just want to make a video solely on just this bad TV effect and if you've never heard of this effect then then, ho then hopefully you you now know about this effect and hopefully maybe at some point you can use it in your own project I definitely encourage you to use this effect and I will probably use this effect a lot in a lot of upcoming um, edits it's definitely really cool really interesting and really unique effect highly encourage you to try it out and see if you um, like this effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 100 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace Thank you.